Final score, Miami 28, the Eagles 10. Of the Dan goal. just keeps firing, and uh, he's done it in such a short period of time. Everything that he does is just, uh, he's, uh, he's writing new records, and uh, if you can project this over a long period of time, then he'll have all of the records, and uh, he's just uh, a guy that is a great, great competitor and loves to throw the football. And Marino certainly does. Another great competitor. Not such good news today for the Miami Dolphins. I know Pete, you know Glenn Blackwood very well, but Glenn Blackwood today, late in the ball game against the Philadelphia Eagles, is uh, gone for the season, and you hope not for the rest of his career. A torn ligament in his left knee. Afterward, he assessed his chances of ever playing again. I'm not going to look and, and say it's over because I'm going to work my tail off, but. Uh... You know, I'm not going to stick my head in the sand and, and uh, not realize that, the, that it could be that kind of injury. So, you know, uh, that's the way it goes. Seemed pretty upbeat for a guy that's uh, got a lot to think about. Well, with his usual class and aplomb, but for me, it, it puts a real damper on the day because uh, for those who aren't familiar with, with uh, the history of the thing, Glenn Blackwood at one time when the Dolphins had a great defense, that may seem like a dim history, but Blackwood was to Bill Arnsberger, the defensive coach, what Bart Starr was to Lombardi, what Marino is to Shula today. He did it all. Then when they desperately needed a safety, he says, hey, I got a brother fly frying chicken in, in Texas. Bring him in. Lyle came in, held them together for a few years alongside Glenn. Done a tremendous amount of the team for the team. I was sad to see it. I called his wife, Beth, right after I, I heard the news, and she has the same kind of attitude Glenn does. She says, well, I know the pain will be tough, but knowing Glenn, it might turn out to be better than getting cut some year. So we hope Glenn Blackwood can come back and help the Dolphins next year. And the Dolphins, surprise, they're in first place with two other teams, the Bills and the Indianapolis Colts.